the Computer Assisted Language Instruction Consortium, uh, Calico, uh, 2019 conference in Montreal. And we have the benefit of Dr. Jeff Lawrence from York University to talk to. And specifically, uh, a bunch of us from the Learn IT to Teach team attended uh, a session where uh, Jeff and his collaborators presented a, an approach to electronic portfolios that we found just fascinating. So Jeff, can you tell us a bit about the portfolio? Sure, well the portfolio, which is called Light Language Integration for ePortfolio, is part of a broader uh, project called Link Dire, which is Linguistic and Cultural Diversity Reinvented. That is a project managed by my collaborator, Dr. Enrica Picardo um, uh, at uh, OISE at University of Toronto. And she has um, uh, sort of engaged us in this in this partnership development grant to work on a plurilingual approach to language teaching and learning where students work with multiple languages um, at the same time or they can actively use their first language in the learning of the target language which may be English or other languages um, and the light tool was really developed as a bit of an e-portfolio e-learning space where students can, uh, can display their knowledge, their cultural experiences, their linguistic experiences in a plurilingual, pluricultural manner, and then really um, track their progress uh, while learning these languages. And it's based on the, the common European framework of reference. Um, so it's uh, gauged to CFR levels uh, and also uh, to task, a task-based action-oriented approach. Um, that students use in these uh, in these activities with their teacher in a classroom, but they use this online tool as a bit of a networking, social, um, autonomous learning tool to really track and develop reflective uh, abilities or reflection really on their learning of uh, of languages that may be one target language and other languages simultaneously. A lot of settlement language training professionals in Canada, in LINK and in uh, provincial programs as well, have a, a deep stake in the idea of e-portfolios mm -hmm. as an answer to, or an alternative to uh, binder-based portfolios. Right. Do, you, do you think light would be adaptable to, to settlement language training? I mean, it may be. Um, we'd be open to certainly discussing that. It really is, we found the challenge with developing a language learning e-portfolio um, as quite a, quite, a, quite a challenge because there really weren't, there were e-portfolios based on content learning in different education contexts that weren't language specific. So, you know, we wanted a portfolio that could track language learning and document different dimensions of learning and give, uh, you know, we developed this tool that, uh, that enables the portrayal of a radar chart so students can see how well they're doing in listening and speaking and reading, writing, mediation skills, plurilingual um, sort of competence, pluricultural competence um, that enables them to really track holistically their um, evolution in, in their language learning journey. Um, and that wasn't available anywhere through a static uh, e-learning tool. So we had to really develop this. So it may be developed, it may be applicable, or we may be able to adapt it for a settlement-based approach. I mean, we need to discuss that because the, the challenges with these types of projects is the funding is now ended for this specific project. So um, even though we're maintaining the site and hoping, hoping we get further funding, um, but it is all, all contingent upon being able to support the development of the tool and that type of approach. But it, the concept of it certainly is, uh, is uh, informative and does have great potential. How oh, interesting. And what, one of the things that really fired up uh, the team members who were there this morning was the uh, way you've adapted the Aboriginal medicine wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, can you describe a bit about what role that plays in the light? 
Yeah, well, the, 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 uh, the effort we've really put into this is really we have uh, a number of indigenous partners and have had through this development project. And we're really trying to infuse a more holistic approach towards language teaching and learning using indigenous pedagogies and indigenous approaches. Um, the medicine wheel just being one of them that we've, uh, we've adapted and been guided from our indigenous partners through this. Um, in trying to really capture not just the cognitive dimension of language teaching and learning, but also the emotional dimension, the spiritual dimension, the sense of belonging, connecting to community, um, you know, r recognizing language learning is much more than our brains at work. It's, it's the whole body sort of experience and our connection to our, our groups and our communities. So, um, so, I mean, that's where we're currently using this model to some degree. Um, to try to uh, try to really uh, capture this this uh, this grander sort of view of language teaching and learning and this plurilingual understanding that does encompass all these dimensions. Very exciting. Certainly, some very interesting potential there. Yeah. As, as we consider options for transitioning to e-portfolios in the uh, seven language training field. Thanks so much, Jeff. Thank you. Mm -hmm.